morning, Cradle Crew, and happy Friday. It's actually Friday when I'm filming this. I'm here with little Mr. Rylan, and we are going to get him all changed out of his cute little holiday outfit really quick. I have a beautiful little summer outfit with some turtles on it, and y'all know turtles are my favorite. So we are going to get him changed into that cute little outfit. <laughs> Look at those lashes. I can see your lashes so good in this lighting. So I'm just gonna put this little hat on him too. It matches his little turtle outfit. I have been dying to put him in this outfit the whole time I was creating him on my table. If you're new to my channel, I created Rylan myself. He was reborn and painted by me. And I've had this little sculpt in my collection before. This is the Tobia kit by Laura Lee Eagles. And I did end up selling my original little Tobia, but when this little guy was on my table, I was just falling in love with him all over again. So he is just the sweetest little baby. I love the way he looks right now. Um, I have this little turtle ma'am pacifier little turtle on a skateboard so cute oh no I'm gonna have to change the magnet in this one this went to my old Rylan so they must have opposite magnets and I will have to explain that in a different video so in order to use this I'm gonna have to flip the magnet so that he can use that okay sweet baby boy he is wanting his little pacifier Mommy fixed it for you. So now you have your cute little turtle. He has his little turtle shirt on. He has a little toy turtle sent in from Auntie Allie. And he has a beautiful little turtle shirt. Has a mommy and a baby turtle on it. On the onesie it says, I love mommy. And he has this cute little pocket to put his passy in if he needs to we can kind of fit it in there so cute he's got these little turtle pants they're like little shorts that have a tie on them they're adorable and then he has his like little baby converse shoes i don't know if you can see his little shoes while he's sitting here look at those cute little shoes so adorable i have some toddler socks on him I got a pack of 12 on Amazon and they're like non-skid um, socks for little babies that are getting ready to walk so they don't slip and fall on the hard floors. But this little hat, I can't remember where I got this hat. I've had it for such a long time. I wanna say, I know I got one of his hats from Auntie Shirley, but this one I think I had for a while cause my old little baby Ryland would wear it. So love this little Heather Gray, uh, gray and white striped shirt he's wearing. He actually looks really cute in gray. I've never seen him in these colors before, but I really like it. You look so stinking adorable. I know in videos you can't really see the color of his eyes, but he has these really deep blue eyes and long lashes. So sweet. Love this little baby. He always shows up so light normally on my videos and you can't really see his details or color. But with this lighting, he looks really good. You can actually see all his coloring. You can even see his little veins on his forehead. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So cute. So I get a lot of questions about the varnish on babies. And since I'm an artist, I thought I would share this with you. Uh, I do do touch-ups on my own babies, but I do not work on other artists' work. I don't usually do touch-ups on other artists' dolls. So if you're having trouble with your baby's varnish, you need to contact your artist or an artist that does reborn repairs. I don't do them except on my own babies, which I am doing today on a baby from my personal collection. Um, I'm going to show you what happens when... Um, 
the varnish wears off on your doll and when you need to go get a touch up. So the hands and feet are usually the biggest areas that you're gonna find varnish wear and tear from changing your babies a lot. Usually um, the oils on your skin can kind of break it down too if you're touching their hands and feet, which I do a lot. I'm always holding their hands and playing with their little toes. It's my favorite thing to do. Also, I will notice on the ears, on the outer area of the ears, sometimes you'll notice some wear and tear. And a lot of people just can't tell what that looks like. So your artist should always put a varnish layer on your doll before you receive it. Most artists use a matte varnish, like a, uh, like a Genesis heat set matte varnish. I used to, when I had the product, Genesis has been having some issues due to COVID getting out their product, but I used to do kind of like a matte and satin mix. I wanted my babies to have a little bit of glow to them so they looked lifelike. I didn't want them to look completely flat and feel like sandpaper. So I would do a mixture between the satin and the, and the matte, but it should still look like this, whether, uh, whether an artist is using a mixture there should still be matte varnish involved and it should look like this there shouldn't be any shine really to the baby um in photos and on film you don't want your baby looking fake and shiny uh the problem with shininess is is that's kind of how manufactured dolls are they're very smooth and shiny and they look like this so your baby's gonna look kind of wet. It's gonna look like they have a wet look to them. So it usually happens on the toes and on the heels, as you can see, like the middle is fine, the top part is fine, but you're gonna notice it on the toes and the heels. And on the hands, you're gonna notice it on the fingers mostly, and especially on those fingertips. See how it's getting shiny? And the varnish protects it. So what happens is, is if you don't have the varnish anymore, Eventually, the paint is gonna wear off. You're gonna lose that paint because that's what's protecting it. So your baby's gonna start to turn white. You're gonna notice there's not a lot of blushing. This baby was not done by me. This was done by another artist. <clears throat> and I have only had this baby for maybe about eight months and this is already what it's starting to look like. And I don't change this baby very often. So what that tells me is if the varnish is breaking down, um, pretty early on that maybe it was too thin of a layer of varnish, which you're probably going to see a lot in the next year, you guys, because if your baby was made with Genesis heat set, which is um, what most people use, they have had a hard time getting their product out. They've had a very hard time coming up with paints and mediums for us. And that is about to change. Uh, I got an email from them saying they should have stuff soon. They are back in production and they're working on getting stuff out in the stores. So if you're an artist, be on the lookout for that. But I know that it was really hard to come by. So I'm sure artists were using a lot of just like they were doing really thin layers, I'm sure, on the babies just to get them protected. But they probably weren't doing like two layers like I usually do, especially um, I go over the hands and feet a lot. Uh, I go really thick on the hands and feet, especially so, um, but we've been trying to save our product and make it last. So you're probably going to notice this a lot on babies you've been getting over the last year or two, but see how the, um, varnish is pretty well maintained on the legs. Sometimes you'll start to notice it on the knees and elbows too, but not too bad on this baby. So, um, it looks fine otherwise, but it might have just been a little too thin on the hands and feet, which is understandable because as an artist, I know what's been kind of going on. So um, if you send your baby off to be touched up by the artist, if you contact the artist, they may be willing to work on their own doll and do a touch up for you, but it should look, you know, like this. It should be shine free. So this baby is already varnished by me and... Um, this baby is shine free, but like I said, you know, I get it. Um, this is just normal wear and tear. If you like to put your babies on a shelf and just look at them, then you probably won't have this problem very much if you're not changing them frequently. But for those of you who are very hands-on collectors like I am, you're going to get this. 
Um, I just take the limbs off. I will do the head if it needs it too, but it can get a little tricky with rooted hair. And this baby has some rooted hair, so, um, but her face is fine. I just put a little more gloss on her lips and she's good to go. Um, I'm doing, going to do touch-ups on this baby's um, nails because I'm noticing that um, with the wear and tear, the tips have kind of worn off and so has the gloss. So I'm going to very gently retip this baby's nails and toenails and then re-gloss when I'm done um, doing the varnish touch-up. So I will show you this baby's glow up when she's all done. So I thought I would show you Little Miss August's glow up. So she was losing some of this gloss on her little lips. So I did want shine on there just slightly. So I did add a little bit more gloss to her lips, just a tiny, tiny bit. Just want it to look um, like it's supposed to kind of a satiny look, but not super glossy because that is not the way that her artist had it. And I wanted to try to keep her true to the way her artist created her. And as you notice, her hands do not have all the shine that they once had. I also did her nails. So I barely, just barely, barely tipped them because that is the way her artist had them. And I just put a little tiny bit of gloss on them. I did the same with this hand, see no shine to her hand anymore. She's got that nice matte look and same with her nails, same with her feet her little nails and she doesn't have all that shine on her feet anymore so that is what we did today on baby august just to touch her up really quick i do try to keep up with my dolls if they need touch-ups because um, it's just easier to work on a little bit at a time i just keep up with them a little bit um, i don't let them get too far gone because then that's a lot more work so this beautiful baby girl, she is the August sculpt from Don McLeod. I named her Autumn because I got her last autumn. She's wearing a cute little outfit with lemons on it that I got last year at Carter's. It has a little yellow tank top that says Hello Summer. And these cute little uh, lemon booties were sent in to me by an auntie. So those are also by Carter's. And the only matching uh, pacifier I have is this pacifier that I have had for years and years and years. It's by Nook. It has these cute little bumblebees on it. I thought that would be so fun for summer. And so she has that to match her cute little outfit. So I just thought I would show off this little guy. I don't know if I showed you guys. I also glammed him up a little bit as well. Um, I touched up his gloss on his fingernails, his lips, and rooted him some beautiful hair. I just added to the hair that he already had. I had some perfectly matched hair already, and um, I was able to give little Mr. Nathan a little glow up as well. But... Just wanted to share some good news with you guys that my newest baby girl is on her way home and I actually have an unexpected delivery coming soon too that I'm waiting on and I looked up their tracking today on both babies and they're going to arrive on the same day. So I have two dream babies actually arriving on the same day which is really weird. I've never had that happen before. So look for some double box opening videos starting next week. Um, they're still gonna be a few days out. So. so as you all know, I finished these two beautiful girls this week. This is the Laura kit and this is the Tink kit. Both of them are by Bonnie Brown. And I dressed them in these cute little dresses uh, by Nursery Time. I found them on Amazon and a lot of people have been asking me about them. Uh, I do have three of these dresses that I am not willing to part with. Uh, I do like to use them for photos and to dress my little girls up very girly. So I actually have these two girls that are available on my website for adoption and I have them all dressed up in these cute outfits. They won't be going home with them. I have outfits already picked up for them, but I also dressed little Miss Aubrey Delilah in the other cute little outfit I had by Nursery Time. 
This one is a much smaller outfit. It's like creamy size. And Aubrey typically wears newborn size and it was a little snug on her, but it looks really super cute. So if you like little dresses like this with the embroidery um, on the top and the ruffles and the cute little matching bloomers, which I love, this reminds me of dresses that I dressed my daughter in when she was born. You can find nursery time clothing on Amazon. I did order today some little bonnets that would fit my smaller babies and I'm waiting for those to come in tomorrow. So I will show you guys another video with those little bonnets that I got off of Amazon. Super cute. Well, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you found a little bit of happiness today, and I hope you find happiness in each and every day, even if it's just something that's simple and small, like this little guy. I'll see you guys on the next video. See you next time, guys. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.